Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're going to be exploring the Neon Industries military complex for the second time. Let's get into it, shall we? So first things first, we have our four decontamination rooms. We actually have hazmat kits this time and with a Geiger counter, surprisingly enough. Very, very good. All right, next double door here, we have a lot of doors. <laughs> All right, here we have the turbine hall here, our generator hall. <laughs> We have two generators on each side for redundancy. You're just, you, you just never have too many generators. So we have two generators on this side and two generators on that side. Now those, these both like, both generators power different sides of the facility. It's just connected up there right now because uh, for a slight fact that I do not want to uh, spend a lot of time cabling everything right now. Anyway, we have power disconnects in here to disconnect each side of the our power plant here from the electrical grid. You know, I think I actually did mean to actually do that. Regardless, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, then we have our big hallway. Next, we have our cafeteria area here. Got tables. Look at that. Pretty nice, I do say. Then we actually have our electrical furnaces, which are actually hooked up. We can actually cook stuff. Now, there's nothing in here yet, but regardless, we can actually cook stuff now. Then we have our walk-in freezer, fully stocked up. Up oh, walk-in. This is our walk-in refrigerator, fully stocked up. And here's our walk-in freezer. Good idea to keep the doors closed. You don't want the cold air coming out. I wish there was like a refrigeration mod. <laughs> that is absolutely random. Anyway, down here we have our control room right here. This is our main area of operations. So like there's nukes flying and stuff. And if you gotta check your generator power or something, then everything's all here for that. I love how well these tables match up together. Intra that's, I don't know. <laughs> wow. But yeah. This is our control rooms here, you know, to monitor, monitor all operations within and with, like, on the outside of the facility. Cool stuff. And then down here is our farm. Oh, nope. Backup generators. My bad. These ones are going to run off our RTG pellets here. They are not set up yet. This is our Faraday uh, room here. This is completely uh, blocked off from any... Uh, so, like, if there was an EMP or something, this area is completely safe from any of that, like, electromagnetic stuff going on. That fries stuff, basically. We have power disconnects here that will disconnect it from our main grid so the power doesn't go from here into here, thus frying everything. That's why these are usually on the off position unless an EMP has already happened and then we can switch on turbines good stuff right i hope so <laughs> all right down this hallway here we have our living quarters we have approximately i think 12 rooms in here i i cannot sleep yet there's like six on each side so that's approximately 12 rooms very cool and they're all pretty much the same. Here, right down here, is the farm area. So this is where I grow our plants and stuff. Our water comes in here. We got carrots, potatoes, and wheat. And we have another storage closet right in here to store all of our good stuff. And then last but not least, we have our little uh, water storage area, which usually has two doors closed, so like as a security thing but here's our little water storage area there's um unexplored parts of the cave which are just blocked off by doors here but this is our main water reservoir plus the backup water that's up near the uh generators their generator hall Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is the Neon Industries Military Complex. If you guys enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.